Good morning, oil traders. It is Tuesday, July 25th, and it is 8.36 a.m. Eastern. Um, so we're still just less than an hour away from East Coast North American markets opening. And the bulls are back in town. Look at them go. We might actually make it to 48 this time. If we uh, take a look at this chart and zoom out uh, to the one week, you can see where we stand relative to previous attempts to break this level. Um, so back on, uh, was that July 21st? That's the last time we were up here. And you guys will, may remember that I managed to buy short here before the decline and then sold and sold as we dropped. Um, so the question now becomes, are we going to make it through this resistance level at kind of 47.30, 47.30-ish, um, up past and to 48. Um, the highest we got uh, in July was on uh, July 20th, and then we got to uh, 47.72. If I zoom out a little bit more um, to see where our last successful climb was, you can see that it takes a lot of time uh, to zoom. Basically, it takes us back to uh, early June, uh, the last time we saw 48. Um, so that's kind of where we stand right now. So this is an important level. And yesterday's news about Saudi um, cutting on their output certainly gives momentum to the bulls. The question becomes, is it enough? Um, do you believe in OPEC's word? Do you believe what the Saudis are promising to do? Um, and it's not even to say that they're not going to hold to their promise, but rather are they actually able to deliver on the promise? Um, it's, it's not a simple thing and it's, it's a very complicated matter not, and I'm not claiming to understand all the nuances of it, um, but you know when an organization is that big and anyway it's complicated and it's it's involved. So the question becomes, are they able to do what they say they want to do? Um, as you may know, my philosophy is play the action and not the news. So it's, it's a rule of thumb that was given, taught to me by a close friend of mine, a best friend of mine, and it's really proven to be a good guide in these sorts of situations. Uh, so what am I thinking? Um, Basically, you guys may remember that I've got a long position that is just about in the money um, based on today's action, this morning action. Um, I, I, I'm in, I think, about 47.30. It's hard to say how, how it translates from my ETF simply because we had the uh, futures contract rollover last week. So it kind of shifts the prices relative to the ETF. Um, but I think the my long position is in and around 47.30, 47.40, 47.20, somewhere in that ballpark. So we're just about in the uh, in the block for that position, and I'm expecting to exit that position somewhere above 48. Now the question becomes, what do I do in the meantime? Kind of in between this 47 and 48 range. And I've been successful in adding to my short positions at this point in, you know, in order to take advantage of a decline should that reoccur. Um, now, what I've been struggling with this morning is the decision whether or not to add right at the open, kind of this 47.20, assuming that we stay here for the open, or wait for something like 47.40, 47.50, which is also very realistic. Um, and what I think I'm actually going to do is kind of split it down the middle. And instead of trying to hold out for 47.40, 47.50, which may not actually happen um, if this rally decides to vanish, uh, I'm going to split the difference um, and buy a smaller position than I would have at 47.20 and then hold out for closer to 48. Um, kind of somewhere around 47.80 plus to add another small short position because that would also put me within range of a sale of that long position that I've been holding um, at 47.30-ish. So it, I think that's my best bet in terms of hedging the long position as well as taking advantage of any rapid decline that we might see 
if the Bulls give up their reins today. So that's that's my thinking. Um, right now, I'm split 60-40 in favor of the Bears uh, because of yesterday's um, additional bear, uh, purchase of the uh, Bear position. So I was close to 50-50 as of uh, yesterday morning, and then I added to the short positions, um, kind of anticipating a decline from yesterday's kind of 40, lower 46s. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So I was proved wrong uh, based on today's morning action. And I'm just going to play it for what it is, add to the shorts, and maybe, hopefully, um, get an opportunity to profit on my longs. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind and how you're going to play this and what you're thinking. Um, hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio trades and charts. And I'll touch base with you guys towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern today. In the meantime, good luck. Cheers.